Hello students, my name is Mrs. Kroll. I'm one of the counselors here at LaSalle Peru High School. Today I'm going to be talking with you about registering for your junior year courses. Our agenda today is going to include going over graduation requirements and also college pattern requirements. These are important to consider when we are building your schedule. We're also going to look at junior year courses. We're gonna discuss ACC courses and PE waivers. We're going to look at resources on the counseling website together, and then you guys are going to be filling out your power school requests. Here you can see LP's graduation requirements and also college pattern requirements. This is broken down by subject area and what LP's requirements are versus what colleges like to see. These are all really important to consider when we are picking our classes because of course it's important and necessary for us to get in LP's graduation requirements but it's also important um, to look at the college pattern requirements, you know, depending on what your future plans are. If you are a college bound student, it's going to be important for you to look at what colleges are wanting um, for classes. So we make sure that those are in your schedule too. You can see for English that LP's requirements and college pattern requirements are the same, meaning four years of English. With math, LP requires three years of a math class, of math classes, where college likes to see three to four years. Science at LP, you are required to take two years of science. Colleges like to see three to four years of science. Social science at LP, you're required to take two and a half years, where colleges like to see three to four years of a social science class. Personal finance and economics are a semester requirement for graduation at LP. PE, you are required three years if you take driver's ed at LP and three and a half years of PE if you do not take driver's ed. Health, you are required a semester. Essential technology, you are also required a semester for LP. Fine arts, vocational education, or foreign language. To graduate from LP, you must need one credit or one full year of any of those classes. Colleges like to see a minimum of two years of a foreign language. So that is something to consider as you're building your schedule. Total credit requirements to graduate from LP is 23. Then there's also a note at the bottom. If you are interested in the NCAA, if you're looking at schools and you're you know, thinking of playing a D1, D2 sport, they have additional academic requirements. So if you fall into this category, please contact your counselor so that we can make sure that you are in all the classes that you need. Next, I have a list of your junior year courses and it breaks it down by subject area. So this is important um, to look at when, when we're picking your classes today. So with English, if it shows, depending on what class that you are in now, what class you can expect to take next year as a junior. So English 2 students um, would go on to English 3. English 2 honor students would go on to AP English Language. And SE English 2 students would go on to SE English 3. A note is if, if you are doing really well in English and you're an English 2 student and you would like to push yourself more um, and try AP, which is our you know, higher level, quicker paced English class, you can always you know, switch levels. And if you're wanting to discuss this more because you're a little unsure, that's a great conversation to have with your counselor. With math, if you are currently in Algebra 1, then you would move on to Geometry. If you're currently in Geometry, you would move on to Algebra 2. If you're currently in Geometry Honors, you would move on to Algebra 2 Honors. If you're currently in Algebra 2 Honors, you would move on to Pre-Calc Honors. Or Algebra 1 and Math Essential students, um, you would be taking that as a junior if you're currently in SE Pre-Algebra 2. For Science, remember, um, you do, you're required two years of science for graduation, which most of you have already completed. Um, so there is an optional third or fourth year. And this elective would be based on your future career major or college. So if you are wanting to go to college, again, they do like to see three or four years. So it's a good idea to get an additional science class in. And especially if you are wanting to go into a science field, it's always a good idea to take as many science classes as possible. 
All right, next we're going to move on to your social science requirements. If you have not already taken U.S. history, you must take U.S. history into as a junior. And you also have the option to take a semester of American government or AP U.S. government. Reminder that this is a graduation requirement and this becomes available for students to take their junior years. Two semesters of enhanced PE or APT is another requirement. As a junior, you do have the opportunity to have an, a PE waiver. Um, this is if you are a varsity athlete, and then you would get a waiver form filled out. If, this, if you fall into this category, then you would need to contact your counselor. So we had just gone over five potential options of your schedule. We need seven total classes. So we recommend that your junior electives are related to your college career plans or interests. Other popular classes that students take junior year are personal finance or principles of economics. Students often take this opposite of their American government class. And these are also graduation requirements. Students could also begin to take ACC classes their junior year. Some other things to consider. So Area Career Center classes, or as we call it often, ACC. If you plan to take an ACC course, you need to sign up via the Google form that was emailed on December 1st, or follow the link on the counseling webpage. I'll show you this resource in a short, a short amount of time. You will not be allowed to add ACC class requests in PowerSchool. Your counselor will add the ACC classes, which will then appear in your course requests. Signing up does not guarantee a space, so slots are filled on a first-come, first-served basis. UCC Google Form closes on January 14th. You may still be able to sign up through your counselor after this date if space is available. So you would just contact your counselor if you would fall into that category. PE waivers. So if you are interested in planning on taking a PE waiver your junior year, you must email your counselor. You must request two PE classes in PowerSchool, and your counselor will update your course request once the PE waiver form is returned. To guarantee space in the waiver class, PE waiver form should be returned by March 2nd. For college-bound athletes, please email your counselor for these requirements. Next, we're going to be discussing registering in PowerSchool. First, I would like us all to go to um, that website on the top of this slide, so www.lphs.net slash counseling. Once we get to that page, you'll see that resources are broken down based on um, what level you will be next year. So we're going to be looking at the junior section. That first resource is the program of study. So this resource is very helpful because it has all course descriptions listed. So as you are picking your courses to learn more about what a, what entails to take that course, um, what that you know course does, if you're interested in it, you can look at the full course descriptions in that program of study. So I would definitely utilize or re recommend utilizing that resource. The second resource is the Junior ACC Registration Form. So if you have not yet, um, but you would like to be in an ACC class your junior year, then I would highly recommend filling out this form today. Um, so again, this is how you sign up for the ACC courses. You are not able to select them in your requests. You must fill out this form. Um, the, the courses are first come, first serve, um, and some of them do fill out very quickly. So the quicker you fill out this registration form to get on that waiting list, the better. So it is important to fill out that form today. The next resource is LP elective courses. So it does list by year all the electives that you are able to take. There is a course sequence map as well that shows, um, you know, year by year, the different subject areas and what the next course to go to would be. And then also that Power School student link. That is what we are going to be looking at next. So if everyone could click on that at this time, 
um, it would be helpful um, for you to split the screen so that you can still see what I'm doing on my end in the video, um, but you can also be working on the power school lamp at the same time. So I would split your screens at this time. So next we would log into PowerSchool. If you do not know your, your password, please email your counselor so that they can provide this to you. When choosing classes, refer to that junior registration sheet that was mailed home. This sheet can also be found online on the counseling website. And then that resource I showed you, the program of study, that has the course description. So that's another um, great resource to utilize right now. So once you are on your power school, this shows what your screen looks like and then the steps that we should take. So on the left hand side, you are going to click class registration. On the, the web page that comes up, you'll see some reminders and some of these we have already gone over, but I'll go over them again. So make sure you select seven classes per semester. So this is including both semesters of a full year class. So for your English three, for example, you would have to pick both first semester and second semester of that class in your course requests. Please contact your counselor if you plan to take an ACC class or a PE waiver. And again, you must fill out that form that I just showed you to enroll in your ACC class. If you plan to use a PE waiver, you must select a PE course each semester until the waiver is returned to your counselor. So no matter what your situation is today, remember you are putting in your PE classes. Counselors will contact you via email regarding questions or conflicts, which, so this is very important. Students must be checking their emails. Um, all communications and questions about your schedule, if we do need to make, make changes, we'll be communicating with students through email. So please, please check your emails. Step two, you'll be clicking on that pencil on the right-hand side, and that's how we're going to actually pick your courses. Step three, would be checking the boxes that you see circled right there um, based on what courses that you are selecting. A reminder that you must check both semesters of a class. So if you are taking accounting one, for example, then you would want to check that class twice for first and second semester. On the bottom of the page, you will be able to go, all the classes are in alphabetical order, and you'll be able to click um, page by page um, as you are selecting your classes. That circled portion on the bottom of this page shows that you may select between 10 and 14 courses, you, and you how many courses you have selected. So as you select courses, um, your number will change down there. You may select between 10 and 14. So you would only select 10 if you are taking an ACC class. If you are not taking an ACC class, then you would select 14 courses. So before you press OK, make sure that on the bottom that you have the correct number of courses selected. When you are done, then you would um, select OK. As we are filling out um, your courses and you are checking those boxes, I did I have another copy of your junior courses that we had gone over earlier so that you can refer to it. So as you're selecting your courses to help you out, if you wanted to pause the video at this time, then you can. After you press OK, your page should look like this. At this point, you will be able to look at the courses that you selected and make sure that you selected everything that you would like in your schedule. Once you have double checked and you're sure that you have all the courses that you would like, then you are able to submit this page. It also shows you how many courses and how many credit hours that you have selected to help make sure that you have selected everything that you need to. After you press submit, you will see the following page. So it actually shows your 21, 22 course requests and has them listed. You will be able to view this page um, as a reminder of all the courses that you had selected today. Some final notes. 
So online registration um, on PowerSchool does close on January 14th. Until January 14th, you do have the option to edit those courses if you change your mind um, or if you want to dis discuss these with your counselor, um, then you have the option to edit that. Please email your counselor with questions and or schedule changes after that January 14th date. All schedule changes should be finalized by March 2nd. Another reminder to please check your email often. This is going to be how counselors are communicating with you with any conflicts or changes that we need to make. So for you to be an active participant in picking your schedule for next year, you must be checking your emails. Please also contact your counselor with any questions that came up today or if you would like to schedule a meeting to discuss the course selection process further. Thank you so much for your time today.